This is a Connect exploit. So this is a talk about joining uh, the Connect, Microsoft Connect, to Metasploit via a uh, 3D first-person shooter game environment uh, in real time. And we're going to use that to, uh, to own a box. So this is all demo. There's, there's no slides. Uh, but it only takes about 10 minutes or so to do the demo. So let me just give you a brief little uh, intro so you have some context about what's going on. So I got to connect about a year ago or whatever it was that came out. And the uh, first couple projects I did, you can see these on YouTube. I did a, uh, a drum machine using Pygame. Uh, it's just like three cubes, and you're a point cloud. And if you swat at it uh, vigorously enough, you can make a, make a beat out of that. And then the second one I did was a David Lee Ross soundboard that I'm sure you guys have seen on the internet a long time ago. They took David Lee Ross' vocal from Running with the Devil and chopped it up and then put it on a soundboard. You can click it and get all this crazy whoos and all that stuff. Uh, same thing, just cubes. You're a point cloud and you swat at it. But what that taught me and what I bring it up is that uh, I'm, a, so I'm a Python programmer, so I'm not into mounds and mounds of OpenGL code, which is what you end up doing there, and physics as well. So, uh, uh, and then the third thing is that there wasn't any, and there still isn't, as far as I know, skeleton tracking for Connect in, in a Python wrapper. So those are the problems that stopped me from doing anything else. And then I stumbled upon uh, uh, Blender. So Christopher Weber did a talk at PyCon 2011 uh, uh, talking about Blender 2.57. Blender is a 3D uh, game environment. Let me show you. Okay. That you can use to uh, do CGI animations and also has a game engine. So that solves the OpenGL and physics issues and gives you a platform that you can use to, uh, to create all kinds of stuff. So it's a, a 3D. Um, I'm assuming you guys haven't seen Blender, so I'll just give you a you know, brief little quick tour. Uh, 3D animation environment. And the cool thing, coolest thing, is that I don't know if you can see the swap on the top there. It's telling you 60 frames a second. So it's real, real life, real time uh, game engine, all driven on the back end by Python, Python 3, uh, nonetheless. So you should check it out. Blender.org is the site. Uh, they fostered the, the uh, development of Blender by putting uh, CGI animators and developers together, and then they make a movie with it. So there's a movie on YouTube you could watch uh, called Sintel, S-I-N-T-E-L. Uh, it's 15-minute animation. It's great. And that's how they made, uh, they used that combination of folks to actually make, make this. So seem Blender. We still have a problem, though, of how do we get uh, skeleton data into Python. Like I mentioned, there's no... Uh, no easy way to do that. So the answer to that is, uh, is OS Skeleton. OS, uh, OS Skeleton is a, uh, a program that uses the OSC protocol, Open Sound Control Protocol, to make a UDP stream of joint data. So you get this just over your, your local connection, or you can send it over the internet if you felt like it, a stream of all the joints that, that Connect is seeing. So let me set this up. And here's just a quick little uh, Python debug, about 10 lines or so, and it's just going to blast out everything that, that we see. So if this goes well. <laughs> so it's initialized, looking for me, found me. If I do the, uh, the pose, now we get joint data. So just like that, we got joint data in, uh, in Python. Let me show you what we get, because this is what goes into, into Blender. So you got uh, a variety of joints. Usually it's just elbow, hand, shoulder, knees, all that stuff. But it gives you the, the joint, the player, come on, player number, and then you get X, Y, and Z coordinates. So now that's what we're going to stream um, into Blender. So let me start this up again. Let it find me. And I'm going to show you the first part of the, uh, oh, come on. oh, I think it's done. <laughs> yeah, it is done. So now we got that into, into Blender. Um, the first thing, first thing I like in these displays is when they actually have a person that maps to what you're doing. So I built this uh, using just some open source mesh uh, stuff that's out there uh, on the internet. This is just a human male uh, figure. But the important thing, the thing I want to show you is that uh, it's complete, let me make that bigger, it's complete down to what Blender calls an armature, which is a series of bones put together that when you move them in the, in the uh, usually in a render engine, you can make like walk cycles, poses, stuff like that. In our case, we're going to link that up to the OSC data coming in to actually get, uh, to get poses. So let me pull this back and we'll demo. Uh, this guy is called Super Harmer. <laughs> so it's running a little slow. It gets better. <laughs> let me do this again. Still a little buggy, Blender. 
OK, that's better. So it's real time, joint data, you can see. Uh, arms are kind of the best. Legs are a little twitchy. Uh, so I don't really have them doing too much because I'm not a dancer. Uh, <laughs> but you can move your arms around. The head is also a little twitchy. And then, so from the basis of the, and the reason I wanted to show you the, the bone stuff in there, because that becomes the basis for gestures. So there's going to be a, a flex gesture later when we get into the game environment. And uh, so that's this bone, 90 degrees to X. So you can start to recognize all kinds of gestures. So let's, let's uh, jump into the connect exploit environment. So this is connect exploit. It's a, uh, it's a you know a first person shooter game environment. It's kind of minimalist. There's only a couple rooms in it. We only use one room, and it's built. Uh, there was a guy on the Blender forums who built this. It just as kind of a first person shooter game. He was messing around with, and he gave me permission to use it to use the background, uh, anyways, for this uh, for this demo. So let's jump in, and I'll show you uh, the gestures. The first thing it's going to do when we start up is make a connection to Metasploit. I got Metasploit running over here and uh, in a victim uh, box. And it's going to announce it, and then we'll start uh, going through the owning of the computer. Connect exploit initiated. So I'm already recognized from OS Skeleton, and there's the little super harmer in what's, uh, what's called a heads up display in the Blender. So it's just mapping two scenes on top of each other. And you can see we got uh, our real time running uh, Metasploit console output up in the top. So some of the uh, initial gestures are uh, if you move forward, you go forward, you move, or you lean backwards, you go backwards, lean to the left, go left, lean to the right, you go right. Uh, and then if you want to, to get a look around the room, you just rotate your hips. And like I said, this is a training environment, so we've got some uh, inspirational posters on the wall here to, uh, to get, us, <laughs> get us a little in the mood to do, uh, do some poning. <laughs> the more you pwn, the more you know. And of course, the last poster, ICBM. Now, you could also, this door here, you could you know, move yourself through the door and all that. I won't go through all the rooms because this is the main room that we want to deal with. The idea would be uh, you know, room equals an IP range just a local IP range on my box in this case. So uh, to get into actually using this to drive tools, um, of course, you got to scan to find them first. So the scanning gesture is both hands uh, up to your uh, forehead like you were scanning the horizon. So we'll do that. Come on. And it gives you a countdown because scanning is an, uh, announces your presence. When it's done, it's launching in map. Yeah. So you, can, so you can see the output from nmap up there just you know, right, out, right out of the uh, Metasploit console. That was my idea anyways of what nmap sounds like. It was a weird thing trying to come up with sounds for this because what does nmap sound like? I don't know. It sounds like that now. <laughs> <laughs> so these are uh, two computers that we found, uh, uh, victims that we can, uh, that we can attack. And uh, I was talking to my daughter about this because, you know, first person shooter, usually it's a shooter. You have a gun that you can use to target things. And she's like, well, maybe you can just use your gun, gun, the flexing gun, like cock your gun gesture. So that's the gesture to, uh, to target one of these guys. So you do a flex and you touch your shoulder and elbow, like in a cocking motion, and you get a targeting ray. Target acquired. So, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you like that, you're really gonna love this. So the last, uh, the last gesture uh, in this thing is the only one I could come up with for uh, for owning a box. It's the uh, well, the French have a word that I can't say for it, but it's called arm of honor. If it, if it, if my translation is right, and it's this. DB auto pwn initiated. <laughs> So this guy's having DB auto pwn run against him, and this is my idea what DB auto pwn sounds like. It's a mixture of bats and the Skype feedback sound. So, I don't, I'll have to have find someone who has a better idea of what that should actually sound like. And if you keep your eye on the Metasploit console interface up there, uh, you'll see it'll you know, announce the modules that it's launching after it gets done looking for what it could possibly use against this thing. And the animation happening is you know, it's kind of blowing his brains out as we're auto pwning it. And if all, all goes well, we'll get sessions, and that's, that's the end of uh, what we can do so far. We've got five modules left, two, 
sessions. Yeah, we sessions. Got sessions. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Thank you. So those, I'll go get out of the game and show you their actual real live sessions in Metasploit on there. But the next idea that I got for this one, this doesn't work yet, would be that you, you know, march up to this thing and then do through some gesture, maybe hopping or something, you launch yourself into the computer. That becomes a different scene than that you could use to drive, you know, one of the interpreter sessions uh, that you got in there. Uh, so, like I said, there are real sessions. Two of them in there, and that is Connect Display. Thank you very much.